dance teacher today. Just a little bit about myself. Um, I am a professional Irish dancer and musician. I have toured over 31 countries with professional Irish dance shows worldwide for the past 15 years. I am pleased to be your teacher today. This class is for beginner level, both adults and children who have never done any type of Irish dance before or have only taken a few lessons. I am the director here in Orlando of Central Florida Irish Dance and we have had our school now for around seven years. We teach over 100 students and we are delighted to bring our classes to the, the worldwide interactive community. So today I will teach you a little bit about Irish Dance first and then we will learn some of the basics. So Irish Dance uh, has other names Irish step dancing, Irish folk dancing. Some people get it confused with clogging. It is not clogging. Clogging is a totally different type of dance. Irish dance is a traditional form of dance derived from Ireland. It dates back many centuries and it is a very old traditional style of dance. We have progressed over the years and now if you YouTube or Google an Irish dance competition, you will see curly wigs, flashy dresses, little white socks and shoes, and makeup and glitter. So we have progressed with the times, but we still are very traditional and it is a wonderful art form. So in Irish dance, there are two types of shoes. The first shoe is what you will start the class with, is the beginner Irish dance pump. It looks very like a ballet shoe, except it is black and it has laces. I have elastics on my shoes today, just for quicker changes. So this is the black pump. It's the first shoe that you would buy for Irish dance. And it is very much like a ballet pump. It has support for the arches of your feet. So, we start in these shoes. If you do not have these shoes, please ensure that you have supportive shoes like sneakers or soft shoes that can, you can move in. Do not um, wear flip-flops or anything that could slip off your feet. We want your feet to be supportive. We also recommend socks under your shoes so that when your feet sweat, your foot doesn't slide. So socks and a soft, strong, supportive shoe or any type of ballet pump, jazz shoe, or Irish dance shoe is what we will use today. You're also going to need a water bottle if you have one. And further down the line, we will start using stretching bands. And maybe um, if you don't have a nice space, a yoga mat and a dance board. But that's for the next few lessons. So for today, all you need is a nice pair of shoes some socks and a water bottle. So our other type of shoe is the Irish tap shoe. We call this the Irish treble shoe or the Irish heavy shoe. It's a black leather shoe. There are all different brands. This brand is Antonio Pacelli and they are based in London, New York and Dublin. They use a fiberglass material for the tip. So as opposed to tap shoes, this tip is very, very large and a very large wooden heel to give us a very deep sound when the shoe is on. The shoe is also flexible in the middle. This is a black suede sole, which means it can bend and give us the flexibility we need in the Irish step dance or heavy dance. So these shoes will come into play a little later in our series. Today we won't need these shoes, we will just need the Irish dance ballet or soft pump. So we're going to start with the basics of Irish dance. And the first thing that you learn is how to stand like an Irish dancer. So most important is your feet. You're going to put your feet together, ankles together, knees together, thighs together. You're gonna turn your feet out. And like I say to my students, like a duck, so duck feet. Turn them out as far as they can go. 
And this is our, in Irish dance, this is our position that we start in with very turned out feet. You're then going to bring your right leg over your left leg as much as possible so that the thighs are very tight and close. And you're going to stand like that. So just try that again. So your feet are straight. You turn your feet right out. You cross your right foot over your left foot and both feet are turned out. Now let's work on the arms. You're going to put your arms out. You're going to put your thumbs in. Put your fingers over your thumbs. Put your hands by your side and turn them back. Turn them in and put them back. So the story goes in Irish dancing dating back to when the British invaded Ireland. They weren't allowed to have parties or enjoy themselves. So the legend or the myth of having your hands by your side is that all the houses in Ireland had half doors. So when the British army or the British invasion would walk past, the Irish people would dance with their feet and their arms would not move. So that's just a little fun fact. So we're going to try that again. Feet together, turn your feet out, cross your feet over, put your hands out, thumbs in, fingers over your thumbs, by your side, shoulders back. Very important that you keep those shoulders back and squeeze between your two shoulder blades on your back, chin up. So this is our perfect position to start any Irish dance. Nice and tall and straight. Your arms will not move from your side or from behind your back. Now, we can relax, shake it out a bit, drink some water, and we're gonna learn the first basic movement that we need to do for our warm up. So we will not go into the warm up straight away. We'll do the basic move so that you're ready for the warm-up. So this is an Irish dance move. It's in every Irish dance that you will learn and it's called a skip to three. So if you do, let's go back, feet together, turn them out, cross them over, arms out, thumbs in, fingers over your thumbs, by your side, shoulders back and chin up. So you're gonna point your toe Re just so you're going to relax and then point. Really squeeze that toe as much as possible. So this is first position for an Irish dancer. This is the position that you will hold before any dance. So what we're going to learn now is a skip two, three. So you're going to pick up the foot, put it down, skip two, three. So your front foot is beat number one, your back foot is beat number two, and your front foot is beat number three. So skip two, three. Then we can change legs, and we can go skip two, three. Now, another important point in Irish dancing is that you must stay on your toes at all times. Either in your soft pump or in your heavy shoe, you must stay on your toes. So, we'll not go on our toes right now as it does take a lot of balance and core. Right now we're just gonna relax on our heels, point your toe and go one, two, three. Change legs, one, two, three. Let's try that again. One, two, three. Change legs, one, two, Three. So that's our basic skip to three. Your feet should always be turned out when doing this exercise. We're now going to try the exercise on our toes. Cross your feet over. So go up on your toes and go one, two, three. You're going to put the other leg in front and you're going to go one, two, three. Put your other leg in front. One, two, three, and the next leg, one, two, three. Now that's a one, two, three. We need to add a little skip. So to add the skip, 
you'd lift the leg up, skip, two, three, and then when you're bringing the next leg forward, you're going to kick your bottom. So you're gonna go kick, skip, two, three. Back leg comes up, kick, skip, two, three. Back leg comes up, skip, kick, two, three. So let's try that again. We're now adding the skip. So we went from the one, two, three. Now we're adding the skip, which is the back foot skip. One, two, three. Back foot skip. One, two, three. Back foot skip. One, two, three. So if we do that from the start, let's point our toe. And we can start with a skip. So the front foot would come up. Skip, two, three. Back leg up. Skip, two, three. Back leg up. Skip, two, three. Back leg up, skip two, three. And that's our four skips. I'm going to put on some Irish music and we're going to try the four skip two threes to the music. Please hydrate, drink some water. You should have your skip two, three, nearly mastered. So we're gonna try it one more time before doing our warm up, our stretch, and our drills. This is needed for the warm up. So focus up on your toes. Skip two, three, skip two, three, skip two, three, skip two, three. And you stay on your toes as much as possible. And for any of those struggling, we're going to do it a little slower. Skip two, three. So front, back, front, change leg. Front, back, front, change leg. Front, back, front. And front, back, front. So now you should be able to do a basic skip two, three. We're going to continue with our warm up. A warm up is very important in Irish dancing to warm up every muscle in your body. As much as we only use our lower half, it takes a lot of the core work and strength in our arms to keep our arms down at all times. So we'll do the warm up, then we'll do a stretch. A stretch is very important also in Irish dancing to prevent injury and to keep your body moving and flexible for each class. We will then go into um, a routine that I call drills. Drills is doing an exercise over and over again each time to prepare your body and your feet to become an Irish dancer and to a new normal for your body. So turning your feet out, crossing your feet over and pointing your toe. That's a great drill and it's our first exercise. So feet together, you turn your feet out, you cross your feet over, you put your arms out, thumbs in, fingers over your thumbs, by your side, shoulders back, chin up. Point your toe, and now you're standing like an Irish dancer. So let's relax the toe, hold that position, and we're going to start our warm up. Okay, shake out your body, let's march. March, five, six, seven, hop, march. Five, six, seven, hop, march. Just try your best to follow along. March. Five, six, seven, into fours. Hop, march, two, three, hop, march, two, three. Now the skip two, three that you just learned. 
skip two, three, 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 and jump, jump. Cut. You're going to cut your leg up the front of your other leg. Cut. Cut. Step two, three, kick. You're just going to kick your leg out as far as it will go. Now you're going to step and hop. Step and hop. Just warm up those knees. Now point. 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 Now you're going to do heel. 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 Back to the start. March. Five, six, seven, hop, march. Five, six, seven, hop, march. Five, six, seven, hop, march. Five, six, seven, march, two, three, hop, march, two, three, march, two, three. Into the skips, ready? Skip two, three, skip two, three. And jump. Jump. And cut and jump. And cut and jump. And cut and jump. Step, two, three, kick. Keep kicking as far as your leg will go. Nice step and hop. Step and hop. Warm up those knees. Now point on point, squeeze your toe. Toes right in. Point, point, and heel. Heel, use your heel. Heel. Back to the start. Five, six, seven, hop, march. Five, six, seven, hop, march. Five, six, seven, hop, march. Five, six, seven, march, two, three, hop, march, two, three, march, two, three, end of the new step, skip two, three, skip two, three, skip two, three, and jump, and cut, jump, cut, jump, cut, jump, cut, jump. Two, three, kick, 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 step and hop, step and hop. Okay, drink some water. Very good. So that was our warm up. It might seem a little daunting, but there are a few things that we can go over, like the skip two, three to make sure in our next class that you can do the warm-up no problem. So the skip two, three we had, it's just a much faster in the warm-up. You can also choose to dance around your room. So skip two, three, skip two, three in a circle, as opposed to staying in one spot. So that's the skip two, three. You would have also saw us move, us, move our arms in, during the warm-up. That's to get our arms ready, to use those muscles, the clench muscles, to keep them by our side. So we do move our arms in the warm-up for the march. We also do a thing called a cut. A cut is where you point your toe and you just lift it in front of the other foot and you cut it up to your hip. So your toe comes to your hip. Toe to hip. Toe to hip. Change feet. Toe to hip. And with the little bounce, it helps you get the cut right up. Jump, cut. So that was in our warm-up also. Then we had the step, 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 kick. And you just kick your leg out. Just get it ready. Your hamstrings, your knees and your ankles. Shake it out. Then we had the point. So the point, you just push your toe as tight as possible. Point, point, point. Then we had the heel. We have a lot of heels in Irish dancing. 
So this is a great way to get your foot to flex backwards to show off your heel. So those were all the main movements in the warm up. We're not going to stretch to make sure that all our legs and muscles are ready and flexible for our, our beginner Irish dance class. So take your seat on the ground. If you have a yoga mat, use your yoga mat and we will start our stretch. So you're going to touch your toes, hands up, and just touch your toes as best you can. Hold it for 10 seconds. Okay, you're going to take one foot in, and you're going to bring one foot out. Flex your foot backwards, hands up, and touch your toe. We're going to hold that for 10 seconds. And change one leg in and one leg over foot flexed hands up and touch your toe okay you're gonna put your feet together and come into the butterfly position move your heels as close as you can to your bottom push your knees down and hold your feet with both hands into a butterfly position. We're gonna hold this for five seconds. You're gonna push your feet out as far as they will go, keeping your feet in the triangular butterfly position and put your head down to your feet. Okay, come up, make sure you're breathing. In through your nose and out through your mouth. One leg comes in and one leg goes over the other leg. So one leg's in and this leg comes right over the thigh. Pull this knee in as close as you can to your chest. Okay, and change, bring the other leg in. This leg comes right over. You're gonna pull the knee to the chest. You want more of a stretch, you can look away. Okay, now both your legs are gonna to go to one side. Bend them both to one side, and you're gonna lie back as far as you can go. And you're gonna hold that stretch. You're gonna straighten your legs, hands up, touch your toes. Now, legs to the other side, lie right back. You're gonna straighten your legs. You're gonna come up and touch your toes. Now, you're gonna go onto your knees. Everybody onto their knees. You're gonna push out one leg, cross it over the other leg, and push it right down as far as it will go. You can put your elbows on the ground and push down with your head to get a better stretch. And then come up, push out the other leg, cross it over and push it right down. Put your elbows on the ground, head down. Okay, you're gonna come up just onto your toes, the tips of your toes, and you're gonna stay there with your hands in the ground. Now you're gonna push up, straighten those knees, and touch your toes. So stay down, touch your toes, and then come up really slowly. Roll your shoulders. You're gonna put your hands on your hips. You're gonna put one leg forward, one leg back. Bend your front knee and keep the back heel on the floor. If you need to hold on to something, you can do that also. And then we're gonna change. Then we're gonna turn and you're gonna bend one leg and lean to the side with a straight leg. 
Come back up, bend the other leg, straighten the other leg. Come right up, Just give your legs a good shake. One leg up, hold your ear if you need balance. Shake it out, and the other leg comes up, hold your ear for balance. Now, put your heel on the floor and touch your toe. And the other heel, touch your toe. Hands in your hips, point your toe, roll your ankle. And we're done. So roll your ankles, make sure they're nice and loose. Shake out your legs, make sure they're nice and loose. Give it a jump around, shake out your whole body, shake your head, and drink some water. Okay, so now we're gonna start with our drills. Drills are Irish dance moves that we do, or dance moves to ensure that your body retains the muscle memory needed to do these naturally. So before we do the drill, in our next few classes, we'll just go straight into it. But before we do it today, I'm just gonna walk you through it and talk you through it. So you'll turn your feet together. Let's go back to what we first learned. Feet together, turn your feet out like a penguin or a duck. Arms out, thumbs in, fingers over your thumbs, by your side, shoulders back, chin up. For the start of our drills, we're not going to cross our legs. We're just gonna push right up as high as you can on those toes and hold. Then you're gonna go down and you're gonna push up on your heels. Now this is a little tricky, this one. So you're up on your toes, you relax. Then you gotta go on your heels. Do not push your bottom back. Try to keep your back straight. Don't arch your back, but keep it nice and straight and go up on those heels and hold. You won't get far up, but you can try your best. Heels down. We'll do that a few times, so up on your toes and then up on your heels. Try not to push out your bottom. Straight up and heels. Then we'll go into the toe position, right up on your toes. And in Irish dancing, everything is crossed. So we'll walk towards your screen with the cross position, and then you'll walk back with the cross position. We'll then go into our point. So we'll point four times, like we do at the start of every Irish dance, alternating feet, and then we'll go back into our drill of up in the toes, and then up on the heels. We'll then walk towards your screen again, and you'll walk back. Now, in Irish dancing, everything is crossed. So an example would be in tap dancing, everything is out to the side. In Irish dancing, everything is crossed. So in order to prepare our bodies to cross everything, this is a good drill. You turn your feet out, you put one foot in front of the other, and what I say is heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe. Bring that heel to that toe every time. Then we're gonna go backwards, back, back, toe to heel, 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 toe to heel. Perfect. So we'll do that, we'll go, go up and back. Then we're going to do, we're gonna point our toe and we're just gonna lift the leg. So up in the back foot, toe up, down, change, toe up, down, we'll do four, and then we'll turn away from our screen and we'll go back, toe up, down, toe up, down, for those. And then we will do what we learned at the start of class, which is our skip two, three. So we'll cross our feet over and we'll do them slow, slow to start. Skip two, three, up, skip two, three. Nice and slow. Then we're gonna speed it up and see how you get on. So drink some water and we're gonna start our drills.
Okay, turn your feet out, arms out, thumbs in, fingers over, by your side, shoulders back, chin up, up on your toes, up, up on your heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels. Toes, heels. Nice. Stay on your toes. Walk towards me. Turning your feet out. Cross your feet over, and then go back the way and relax. Now point, 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 point. Point, point, I push up, up on your heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, now walk towards me, cross your feet, keep them crossed. Now we're going to do the heel to toe exercise. Ready? Heel to toe. Cross your feet nice and slow. Watch your balance. Walk towards me. Now back. Okay, really good. Now point your toe. And we're going to do our toe up, down. Five, six, seven, eight. Toe up, down. Change legs. Toe up, down. Change legs. Toe up, down. Change legs. Toe up, down. Turn to the back. Toe up, down. Change legs. Toe up, down. Change legs, toe up, down, change legs, toe up, down, turn to the camera. Now we're going to try to skip two, three that we learned earlier. Point your toe, nice and slow. Skip two, three, skip two, three, skip two, three, skip, now let's try to lift it up. Lift. Lift, lift, nine. We're gonna count to eight, and then we're gonna try to skip two threes fast. Okay, so point your toe. Let's count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Skip two three, skip two three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Let's try that again. Five, six, seven, eight. Skip two, three, skip two, three, skip two, three, skip two, three, two, three, skip two, three. Very good. Now we're going to dance around the room. So dance around the room with your skip two, threes. Let's count to eight. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, go. Skip two, three, skip two, three, skip two, three, skip two, three, two, three, skip two, three, two, three, skip two, three, and stop. Very good, guys. Drink some water, stay hydrated. Make sure you're breathing. So now you've mastered the, the main skip two, three. You'll find the skip two, three in every Irish dance that you do. I'm going to explain a little bit about the structure of an Irish dance class and what you will learn over the next eight weeks. So in our first class, we're learning the basics, how to stand like an Irish dancer, our drills, our stretches, our warm ups, how to point, how to turn your feet out, how to do a skip two, three. 
As we progress, there is a structure. In the soft shoe, we learn four dances. The reel, the light jig, the single jig, and the slip jig. So I'll say those names again for you. The reel, R-E-E-L, the light jig, L-I-G-H-T, J-I-G, the single jig, S-I-N-G-L-E, J-I-G, and the slip jig, S-L-I-P, J-I-G. And the slip jig has nothing to do with slipping. These are just traditional Irish names that date back many centuries for the first four dances that we will learn in Irish dance. Now these names um, coincide with the rhythm that we use. So the reel uses the 4-4 four, four timing, as does the hornpipe. So there's certain dances we all use different rhythm. The, we're starting today with reel, which is 4-4 four, four timing, which is a little faster than some of the other dances. So today you're going to learn a little bit of a reel, R-E-E-L. So if you'd need to use the music, you would use any reel music, and you'll find that on any platform. We'll also play it here on, in class. And if you need some practice music, we can also send that on to you also. So, we'll go back to turning your feet out. Turn your feet out, shoulders back, chin up. Hands, thumbs, fingers by your side, and up on your toes. And relax. Right foot in front of the left foot, and point your toe. So for our reel, we are going to dance clockwise. So if you can picture yourself standing on a clock, if I'm at 12 o'clock, six o'clock is down here, three o'clock is over here, and nine o'clock is over here. If you're very young, we're going just to go around this way, okay? So doing the step that we just learned. So you're gonna point your toe, skip to three, next leg, skip two, three, and we're gonna do eight of these. Skip two, three, 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 and skip two, three. And that is called a lead around because every dance, every first step in Irish dance is a circle. You make your clockwise circle. We'll always start with a lead around and two side steps. So a side step means you move to one side, your right side always first, and then your left side. And you'll repeat that for the second step, side and side. So the structure of an Irish dance would be lead around, side step, and side step. So if you can picture that in your head or even draw it, you would draw a circle, a line going to the right and left and a line going to the right and left. And that's the movement for your Irish dance. So today you have learned the lead around of the reel, which is your first dance. We have four soft shoe dances and then we will learn two heavy shoe dances. The, the heavy jig, it's called heavy because of the heavy shoe, and the hornpipe. So heavy jig, H-E-A-V-Y, J-I-G, and hornpipe, H-O-R-N-P-I-P-E. So those are our two heavy dances. So today we'll learn the first soft shoe dance, which is the reel. Let's try that again. So always remember, feet turned in, feet turned out, arms out, thumbs, fingers by your side, shoulders back, chin up, cross your feet over. And like I explained earlier, before any Irish dance, you must count to eight before starting any dance. So what we'll do now, just for the younger students, we're gonna clap out our eight bars, and then we're gonna stop the music, just so you understand the real rhythm in Irish dance. So I'm gonna play a reel for you, and you're just gonna clap out eight bars with me. So let's find a nice reel. And we're just going to clap eight feet together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Start. So 
So that would be your eight bars introduction. We don't dance for those eight bars, we wait. So if you ever see an Irish dance competition, the dancer walks on stage, shoulders back, chin up, crosses her feet and points her toe. The music starts playing. She must wait for eight bars before doing any dance. Therefore, in class, we must wait eight bars before doing any Irish dance. So we are now going to do the lead around the eight skip two threes that we just learned to the real music with eight bars introduction. So let's clap it out, hands by our side, and then start. We won't be clapping during a normal dance, but just for our very first dance, let's clap out and then go, okay? So this is the lead around of the reel. So let's clap. One, two, three, four, five, get ready, six, seven, eight, and go. Skip two, three, 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 skip two, three. Skip two, three. So as we're only learning today and it's our first class, we're just walking. So we're just walking those skip two threes, skip two threes. Eventually though, we'll start bouncing, okay? And you're using your back foot to bounce. But right now for today, let's just walk. So we'll do walk two, three, walk two, three, walk two, three. Back foot comes up every time. Back foot up, back foot up and back foot up. Lovely. Okay, so drink some water, stay hydrated, and we are gonna move on to the first side step. So as I said, you have your lead around. Around the clock, or around some circles, you have a lead around. The next step is your side step, which will always be to the side. So I'm going to go to my right, and you're going to go to your right, okay? So you're going to point your toe, and the first thing we do is a hop. So a hop in Irish dancing is bringing your front foot up to your thigh. You have to try and get your toe above your knee. So watch me, you point your toe, and that's a hop. Let's try it again. Point your toe. Hop. And we do this in the warm-up also. Point your toe, hop. Let's try it on the left foot. A lot of Irish dancers find doing things on the right foot much easier than doing the left foot. It's like when you're riding in class. Riding on the, some people are right-handed, some people are left-handed. But doing things on your left hand or left leg will always be much harder than doing it on the right. So let's try a left foot hop. Point your toe, above your knee, hop. Try it again, hop. I'm not moving about my back leg yet. Just try the hop. Now if we go back onto the right foot, let's try going up on both toes, maintaining the toe at the back, and hop, hop. Let's do that on the left foot. Right up on your toes, keep up on the back foot, hop. Okay, what's also important in Irish dancing is having a strong core. So sit-ups or planks or anything like that that you can do, or maybe a yoga class or any strength and conditioning class is really recommended um, to get your core strength ready so that your balance is perfect, your back is solid, and your core is solid for doing things like this. Ha! So you point your toe. This is, this is for our first level, just a ha. If you want to do level two, you'll go up in the back foot and you'll do that. And then we have a level three, which would be lifting the back foot off the floor for the hop. So level one, younger children can stand down and do a hop, down, hop. All my children and adults should be able to go up in the back foot and do a hop, down. Try to hold your core in, pull in your stomach muscles, now, any adults or kids who may have done Irish dancing or other forms of dance like ballet, jazz, hip-hop, 
should be able to do the level three hop, which is up on the toes, jump in the back foot, and hop. So let's try that again, level three, hop. Let's do a level three hop on the left foot, hop. Let's try that again, five, six, seven, and hop. Okay, so that's the start of our second step. It's pretty basic, it's called a hop sevens. So in our stance, you learn your one, two, three, or your skip two, three, which you just have, and then you will learn your hop sevens. So very basic, you do your hop, and then you do seven little walks. Okay, so let's try that. You point your toe, up on your toes, hop two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, there's a few things to remember here. We're keeping our feet turned out like a duck. We're crossing them over. We must stay on our toes. You have to stay up on the toes. But also, when you bring one foot out, you're pointing that toe, the next foot is coming right behind. Tight, tight thighs. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? Let's try that. Hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So after the hop, the front foot is number two. So the hop is number one, hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's just walking it. Let's try it on our toes. Hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Point your toe up on your toes. Hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. That's level two, let's try level two again. Hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And for anyone who wants to go crazy, let's try a big hop and a fast seven. So level three will be hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try that again. Big hop with the back foot, five, six, seven, and hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you'll notice that my arms are not moving. Because I'm a trained dancer, I'm a professional, I don't think about my arms. But a lot of times I find with my beginner students that once you try to do that hop, your arms are gonna come up. Because you think that you might fall, so your arms are getting ready to protect your body. Don't worry about that, have faith in yourself, have trust, shoulders back, keep those hands by your side. Point your toe and hop. I don't wanna see arms coming up. I don't want to see this. Keep them by your side. So let's try level two again, up on your toes. Hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice, tight legs. There should be no gap here. Nice and tight. So we're gonna try that for the music. We're gonna count out our eight bars again. So we're gonna to have to count the eight before we do the hop sevens. So let's count it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, go. Hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try that again. Five, six, seven, and hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, go. Hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last time. Five, six, seven, go. Hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we have our skip two threes around the room for the lead around, and we have our hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's put it all together for the end of our first class. So you've done really well, you've come this far, you have the posture of an Irish dancer, you know to turn your feet out, you keep your hands by your side, you must remember to be on your toes at all times. So we're gonna do it slow today, and then maybe next class we'll pick it up to the fast level. But right now, today, we're going to dance the dance slow for you. So get, drink some water, let's get ourselves ready. We're gonna to count to eight, we're gonna do the eight skip two threes in a lead round, and then we're gonna do our hop sevens to the side. So eight, skip two threes in a circle, and then hop sevens to the side. And this is the start of our reel. Okay, good luck. 
Gather yourself together, shake it out, drink some water. And let's get ready for the end of your first class and your real dance. So we're going to count to eight together first. Feet together, turn them out. Arms out, thumbs, fingers by your side, shoulders back, chin up, cross your feet over and point your toe. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's go. Skip two, three, 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 hop sevens. Hop two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, good. We're gonna try it one more time, guys. So lead around and the hop sevens. Okay, really good job guys. The most important thing is to stay hydrated. Don't breathe properly when you're dancing. Keep the hands by your side. Don't let your body move. Keep the chin up, the shoulders back, feet turned out, up in your toes and thighs tight. So that's a lot to process today. I would advise you to have a little notebook and a pen and write down everything you've learned so far so that when you come to the end of your eight weeks and your sessions, you have it all in front of you and then you can go back over the videos and make sure it's all right. Well done everybody, you've done a great job and I look forward to taking you through this journey of Irish dance and making you love it just as much as I do. See you all soon.